Hi everyone, it's Holly and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. It's great to have you here. So today we're starting our series, Christmas in July. You know, it feels so good to kind of get a jump on the holiday. So when it gets to be December, you're not racing around like a mad woman trying to get those little tiny things all done. And that's why we're starting Christmas in July. So hopefully I can give you some ideas of some fun stocking stuffers or some fun projects that, you know, you can kind of take your time and have fun making them. I just know it gets so busy November, December, that by starting early, you can be ahead of the game. So today we are going to be making these adorable little boxes that open up to have your EOS lip balm. And guess what? Dollar Tree right now has the EOS lip balms. You can also find these in packages of six and 12 on Amazon and they come in all different colors. I thought the red and the green would be just perfect for Christmas. So I've picked up a couple of these and we're gonna make this cute little box and then the lid goes over the top and then you can add a cute bow or gift tag and look how just over the top fun those are. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you just how simple this really is. I'm gonna set these aside and what you'll want is you'll want um, a couple pieces of cardstock. So the first piece of cardstock is six by six. And look at that cute Santa paper. Oh my gosh, it's so fun to craft in July. I'm just getting already so excited. Okay, so you have your six by six piece of cardstock. You'll also want a piece of cardstock that is four by four, okay? And then for the little base in the middle, this part right here, you're going to want to have a piece that is one and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And I'll go over these measurements as we do them. So let's start with our six by six piece of cardstock. Now, what I have found is it's best if you have a piece of paper that's double sided. That way, um, look, you've got the cute outside here, but you've got the cute inside with it being double sided. So I think it works best if you have some double sided cardstock. So let's get started. I've already cut my paper. This is six by six, and we are going to score on all four corners at two inches, okay? So two inches, turn your paper, two inches, turn your paper, two inches, and two inches, okay? Let's set this aside and do our other scoring real quick. So take your paper that is four by four, and we are going to score at one inch all the way around, okay? So one inch, flip it, one inch, flip it, one inch, and one inch. Okay, now one last paper, okay? Now you're going to take your paper, cut it down to one and seven eighths by five and eighth. Okay, now these are kind of some different measurements, so kind of follow along with me, um, and I will put the measurements up at the top. So the first score is one and seven eighths, okay? The second score is two and three eighths. And that's actually the little line just before uh, two and a half. So two and three eighths. The next one is four and a fourth. And then your last one is four and three fourths. Okay, we'll set that aside. Now we can put our scoreboard away. We're done with the scoring. Let's bring our six by six paper back in. Now I'm actually going to fold it it's gonna be kind of hard for you to see these lines, but you can see we have the little squares, the three squares, three squares, three squares. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut out each of the corner squares, okay? So yeah, this is kind of hard to see those lines. So I'm just going to cut up and Boy, I'm really having a hard time seeing. I'm gonna get my glasses. Okay, so to see how we just cut out that square, we're gonna do it on this side now. Okay, 
cut out the other one. And then our last one. Can I cut that? Okay, so this is the base of our little box. Okay, now let's set that aside and let's bring in our paper that is four by four and we've scored it at an inch. I'm just gonna go ahead and fold that so maybe you can see how we're going to cut it. Okay, now we are going to cut, um, let me just do it and I can kind of show you. We're going to cut up on the outer square and then we're just going to angle it in. That takes out a little bit of the bulk when we're trying to make the lid, okay? So over on this side again, cut up to the line and then just kind of angle it in and make a little triangle. Now let's do that on the other side. We'll flip it around. We'll cut up on that score line and we'll angle it in. Pull that little piece out. Okay, up on the score line and angle it in. Okay, easy peasy. So we've got our base and our lid. Okay, let's take our um, little box insert now and let's fold and burnish it. Oops, there's actually a price tag on that one. Okay, get it folded and burnished. Okay, so that's gonna be our little box that our EOS lip balm sits down in, okay? Now, ideally, if you have a circle punch, you can just come on in and punch a circle, and it's a little bit bigger than an inch um, circle that you'll wanna do. Out of all my supplies, I do not have a circle punch, believe it or not. I have every other punch, but <laughs> not a circle punch. So I am just going to use um, the packaging that this came in. So I'm just gonna cut this down and we're going to use the circle here as our template. You know, whatever works, right? <laughs> so I'm just going to, I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. Help me kind of get this centered on there. Okay. Okay, so I'm laying my template down. And I'm just gonna draw a circle. Okay, so that works, easy peasy. Now let's go ahead and punch a hole in here and we will cut it out. You know, it's kind of using whatever you have. <laughs> That's the name of the game. Okay, we're gonna cut our little circle out. Actually, that worked out really well just to use the packaging. It's called being resourceful. <laughs> so do you think it's too early to be crafting? I mean, crafting in July, there's something about Christmas in July, getting ready, getting a jump on the holidays. I think it's kind of fun. You know, it gets so busy during the holidays that it's just nice and relaxing to be able to think, hey, I'm gonna get some of those last minute gifts done, not last minute. <laughs> okay. So there's our little box. Let's go ahead and glue it together right here on the tab. Just gonna add some glue and pop that together. I was so excited to find these EOS lip balms at the Dollar Tree. It's like, oh, bonus, 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 bonus. I mean, and what a cute gift for a dollar. You know, the making of this only takes like one piece of paper. So really it's just the lip balm. Okay, so there's our cute little box. Now we're just gonna add some glue on the bottom. And glue it right down in the center of our base. And that's why I like glue because you can put it down and then 
pick it back off and get it centered. <laughs> okay, that looks better. Okay, let's go ahead and take our lid and let's just fold it in. We're gonna put glue on the tabs and fold it in to make the box, okay? So glue on the tabs. We'll put our little EOS lip balm in there, pull up the sides, put our cute little top on. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. And then these bows are just perfect. You know, they have the bigger size or just the little mini size. And then with a cute tag, doesn't that make a darling little stocking stuffer? Just so totally fun. Okay, now I am just gonna go ahead and make another one on Fast Forward and then I will be right back. So look how adorable those little boxes are. Oh my gosh, so fun, so fast, and so easy. And with it being double-sided cardstock, you could actually switch up and have the base different from the top. You know, whatever you wanna do. But anyway, oh my gosh, it was so fun doing Christmas in July. I think that by starting your crafting now, you can kind of relax and enjoy it. It's not so stressful. You know when it gets to be November and December and your last minute gifts are truly last minute? So why not start now on some of these fun, adorable little lip balm boxes? Can you just see what a cute little stocking stuffer that would be? Or sitting by somebody's desk at your work with that cute little lip balm. And once again, these EOS lip balms are currently at the Dollar Tree, so what an amazing deal. However, if they're not at your Dollar Tree, you can pick these up on Amazon. So anyway, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this tutorial. I'm so excited for upcoming crafts that we'll be making, um, cute stocking stuffers and cute little gift ideas that you can make ahead of time before the rush of Christmas gets here. So I hope you have a wonderful evening and I'll see you on the next video. Christmas in July. Have a good night. Bye you guys.